tayo ng masaral Sa mas walang maiiwan At sayang magtaral tayo ng mas tuto Upang ikaw yung asenso Maging matyaga, maging matalino Halina mataral na tayo First activity, tara, sabay-sabay nating basahin ang word problem na aking ipapakita. The grade 5 garnet advisor of Sampaloc Site 2 Elementary School made a survey on the preferred mode of submission of answer sheets of their pupils. So, tamang-tama, di ba? Mga bata, ginagawa nyo rin yan ngayon. Okay, what is the most preferred of the pupils and what is the least? Mga bata, ibig sabihin ng preferred, alin yung mas komportable o mas, mas madali sila na magpasa ng kanilang mga sagot. Okay? So, halika mga bata. Let's help her to find out what is the most preferred and what is not of her duties. Okay. So, ito yung mga sagot ng kanyang mga Bata. So as you can see, it is quite difficult to determine what is the most preferred and what is not by her pupils. Okay? So para mas madali, meron tayong dalawang technique na gagawin. Alright? First, step one is to determine the different responses from the survey. Ano-ano ba yung mga sinagot ng bata? One is Google Form. Next, Messenger. Yan. I'm sure, ginagamit nyo rin yan ngayon. Third is Hard Copy. And the last one is Email. Step two. So, make a tally of the frequency or number of occurrences of each response. Okay. So, the title is the preferred mode of submission of answer sheets of grade 5 garnet pupils. So, take a look at this tally. So, andyan yung mode of submission. Andyan ang Google Form. Sa tali natin, mer nakakuha, siya, nakakuha ito ng 7 votes. Sabihin, 7 pupils ang pumili ng Google Form. While in hard copy, or ito yung module na sinasagutan nyo, it has 12 votes. 
while the messenger, ang pinakasikat, ay nakakuha ng 16 votes. At yung email ay 5 votes. Okay, so we can see that the most prepared form in submitting their answer sheets is classroom messenger while the least prepared is the email all right so siguro kaya lima lang ang pumili dun sa email kasi talaga um, siguro kulang sa resources kasi pag email ang gagamitin mo kailangan mo ng strong internet connections okay All right, so later on, we will make a line graph from that data. By the way, what is line graph? So line graph is the data gathered and organized can be presented using graphs. Okay? Line graph has a vertical line called the y-axis, which contains the first variable in the collected data, while the x-axis is called the horizontal line it contains the second variable that relates to the first variable in the collected data so ano nga ba ang itsura ng line graph okay okay so this is an example of line graph also known as a line plot or line chart as you can see, so gumagamit dito ng straight line. Diba? Kaya nga line graph. Okay? So, this is the y-axis. This, this is the vertical line. If you remember, it is the first variable. So, our first variables in the collected data is the number of pupils. Okay? While the x-axis, known as the second variables, so this is the preferred mode of submission of answer sheets by the learners. So makikita natin, uh, Google Forms got 7 response. And the hard copy got 12 responses. While the messenger, sabi ko nga, this is the most preferred mode of submission of answer sheets of her pupils got 16 votes while the least preferred mode of submission of answer sheets is the email okay so do not forget to write the title of your graph so the title of this line graph is the preferred mode of submission of answer sheets of grade 5 Garnet pupils. For our second activity, again, let's read the word problem. Meanwhile, grade 5 amethyst advisor also had a record of a survey on the preferred mode of submission of answer sheets as shown in the table below. So this is the collected data of grade 5 Garnet and grade 5 Amethyst. Okay, so in Google Form, grade 5 Garnet has 7, Amethyst has six hard copy garnet has 12 amethyst has 16 while messenger garnet has 16 and the amethyst has 14 and the email five for garnet and four for amethyst so as you can see even in grade 5 amethyst, the least preferred mode of submission of answer sheet is email. Okay? While the most 
preferred naman is the hard candy. So this is the line graph of the preferred mode of submission of answer sheets of grade 5 garnet and amethyst pupils. So as you can see, the orange line is the data of the grade 5 amethyst, while the blue line is the data of the grade 5 garnet. Okay? So as we go on, let's try to answer the following questions based on the graph. Number 1. What is the line graph all about? Tama. It is the prepared mode of submission of answer sheets of grade 5 garnet and amethyst pupils. Second question. What does the scale in the y-axis represent? So, it is the first variable. So, that is the number of pupils. Third, which pupils preferred hard copy the most? So, grade 6, amethyst. Fourth, questions. What is the difference between the number of pupils who prefer messenger? So, for garnet, it has 16 pupils. And for amethyst, it has 14 so, the difference between the number of pupils of the per messenger is 2. Last question. Which mode of the submission of answer sheet has the least number of pupils? Correct. The answer is email. Okay, for our last activity, let's have another example of line graph. So, the title of this line graph is about temperature in BF Paranaque City. So, our first variable here is the temperature in degree Celsius. While the x-axis or the second variable is the days. So we have here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay? So what is the difference between the lowest and highest temperature in BF Paranaque City? In solving routine and non-routine problem involving data presented in a line graph, first, we have to understand what does the problem ask for? Correct. So the answer is the difference between highest and the lowest temperature. What are the given data? 25 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. Next steps, plan. You have to plan. Okay? So what operation is or are to be used? Correct. The answer is subtraction. What is the mathematical sentence? 30 minus 25 equals N. Now, show how the solution is done using the operation. So that is 30 minus 25 equals 5. So the next step is check. Check if your answer is correct. Now, if you think that your answer is correct, you may now state the final answer. So the difference between the highest and lowest temperature is 5 degrees Celsius. 
So that is the steps in solving routine and non-routine problems. At dito po nagkatapos ang ating lesson para sa linggong ito. Maraming salamat sa inyong mga bata, masayang pagkatuto, at lagi kayong mag-iingat. Muli, ako si Antonio Flores mula sa Magdaluyong Elementary School. Ingat kayo lahat!